Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add text when you're editing on Camtasia Studio. So let's head over to Camtasia right now and let's import a video file that we would like to just play around with. So I'm gonna choose this one right here where I talk about the Amazon FBA pros and cons. So now that we've got a, a video, Let's drag it to the timeline and I'll show you how you can add text to it. So this is just habit. I always just do this without even knowing. I always change the dimensions to 1280 by 720. I've edited thousands of videos, so it's, it's so normal for me. All right, so now that I've got the video on the timeline, let's add some text on the side here. Um, just testing it out. All right. So first thing you want to do is have whatever you want the text to be on. So if you want it on video, if you want it on a picture, uh, those are pretty much the two types that you can have text on. You can't just have an audio file and then put text. You would need to put uh, either a picture or a video or something like that. So we will just leave it at here. Now you want to head over to the callouts button right here, click on it. And here it might look like that's all that there is, but there isn't. If you click this button down here, it opens all this stuff. So from here, you want to click on text, right? And that creates a text file here in track two. Now let us write something. Hello. My name is Jewel. Okay, so that's a test right there. So as you can see, as I just wrote that, it's really tiny and it's in the middle there. Well, we want to move that, enlarge it, and change it to a different color. So you want to drag here in the middle. If you touch anywhere else out there, you might be dragging something else. So make sure that you're dragging it from the middle. Gonna drag it to the side. And we obviously want to change the color of this because my background is black. So I'm gonna change it to white. If you don't like any of the colors here, you can actually select a color from something else. So let's say that I want this gray. You can actually click on this and it will give you the exact color of this gray right here. So. If you want to select a color that you have from a picture, like if you have it, you looked up a picture from Google or something and you want that exact color tone and you don't want to just guess, you can actually click on it. So that's how you select a color that way. Or you can choose from here and just play around and move things around. Um, I will choose a purple because that's my favorite color. And that's kind of dark, so we can just play around and we'll go... No, that's not deep enough. I like sort of the plum purple, you know? Plum... I used to like lavender when I was younger. So what we're doing is I chose a purple somewhere in here and we can go lighter or darker. I'm gonna go just a little bit right here. Not too light, not too dark. So I will click OK. And you can still see that it's really small. So if I click out of it, it's still really small and I can't really see it. So you want to highlight your text. Make sure it's highlighted because if you don't highlight it and you change uh, this font size, it's not going to change. So you want to change it to whatever is going to look good for you. So maybe, maybe we'll have it streaming all across the top right there we'll have it right there and you'll notice that there's like yellow lines that keep coming up everywhere well when you hit the center of something or an alignment it's gonna let you know so right now I'm at the center uh, right there I'm at the center and that's perfectly aligned so I'm gonna leave it there and I'm gonna make the text a little bit more bold so again I want to highlight the text and you can either bold it from here or you can change it to a different font they have a whole bunch of fonts here that you can play around with 
and I'm just going to choose like a really, maybe this one. Let's choose that. Whoa, the exclamation mark's so small there. I guess that's what it looks like. I guess that's the style of the font. So now that we've bolded the font, um, I actually want to make it a little bit brighter because that was actually too dark for me. So now that we've got the font, let's make it just a tad larger. Oops. 48. Let's make it a little bit larger because I want I want it to be like really seen in the video. So there we have it, right? Now that you've got your text in the video, now you see here what I'm moving here? You want to choose where it's going to show up in the video. So right now we've got it here uh, in the beginning and we've got it for seven seconds. So if you want to change the duration, you can drag it or you make you can make it smaller or uh, longer. And another thing that comes standard when you're creating these text files is a fade in and fade out. So I'm just going to play the beginning so you can understand what the fade in and fade out is. So hold on one second, you'll see it on the video. Hey, hey guys, guys, how's it going? going? It's, it's Jewel, Jewel Tolentino, Tolentino here, here. And, and in this, this video, video I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of selling on Amazon Canada. Canada. Alright, so you saw how the text just faded in and faded out there. You can keep that, you can make the fade longer or you can remove it all together. So you can make the fade longer, right, or you can make it shorter and not have a fade at all. So I'll just show you what that looks like. So if you don't have any fade ins or fade outs, it's just gonna just abruptly show up on the screen. It's Jewel Tolentino here, and in this- So there was no fade, right? It's, it's uh, just gonna just pop up and then disappear. So you can choose what you like. I typically choose the fade in and fade out. I like it, you know, but you can take it off if you want. So now that you have that going on and you, let's say, okay, we want it here in this beginning part. That's good there. Uh, let's say that you want to duplicate this and maybe you want to keep the same settings for this, right? So what you would do is you would copy this. There's a couple of ways. You can either go control C or you can right click and click copy. And let's say I want it to go over here and you can either go control V or right click and click paste. So you can see that I've duplicated that. If I want to change this text, you can. So you can just click on it, make sure it's highlighted, click on it and say second text. So that's just a test right there to show that this is the second text and you can have it there at the screen there, at the top. So that's pretty much all you need to know about text. You can also play around with other things like making it italics, underlined, if you want the text to be a line left in the center or a line right, uh, and play around with the colors. You can also play around with the effects of the shadow and things like that. I usually leave it as is. I like it the way it is. So I usually have my text just as you're seeing it right now, but you guys can definitely play around with it. One more thing is if you want text to come up at the same time, like, like a, let's say you want two different types of text, you would just basically stack one on top of the other. So you see what I just did there? I took this one, which comes later in the timeline, and let's say, no, I want it to happen at the same time. So you can see how it's all muddled there at the top. Well, let's take that second one and put it down at the bottom. So you can have multiple texts happening at the same time. So I'll show you right here. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the... Pro so you can see that I had two text layers happening at the same time and you can add more and more and more. So if you have something on the screen where you're listing out something like a top five or something and you want them all to show up, so you can go one, two, three, four, five. You can have all of them at the same time. You just have to make sure that they're stacked on top of each other and you can play around with the lengths and things like that.
All right, guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is how to insert text, how to play around with text in Camtasia Studio. If you liked these types of videos, every Wednesday I talk about video creation. So whether it be in Camtasia Studio, GoPro, um, editing softwares, anything to do with video basically happens on Wednesdays. Thank you guys so much. So if you liked this video, if we helped you out in any way, could you please give us a big thumbs up, a subscribe or a comment? All that would be very much appreciated. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.